Hello students, even though you might have not done very well in JE or any other examinations that have happened so far, but don't worry, you can do extremely well in Comet K 2025 examination and only 10 days are remaining. You must be wondering what to do in these remaining 10 days, but don't at all worry. Watch this video from beginning till the end because in this video we are going to discuss about the master strategy that can actually help us to score really well in the Comet K examination. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Before we move forward, we want to tell you that we are going to bring you about 100 most important MCQ questions for your Comet K preparation. And if you do these questions, definitely you can score a really good marks in Comet K examinations. If you want such video, you, there is a target of 500 likes. So like this video as much as possible, share with your friends and also make them like this video. Now, let's discuss about the strategy. So this is about the revision plan and here is an overview. Our goal is to maximize revision in these last 10 days and improve our speed and accuracy. We must understand that in this examination, there is no negative marking and there are 180 questions, which means that there are 180 marks and we have to score at least at least 150 marks so that we can get into top college. And these are actually equally distributed across the three sections, physics, chemistry and maths. Now let's move on to the strategy. What about the day one? So in the day one, our focus would be on physics. Uh, here are some of the key chapters, kinematics, laws of motion, work power energy, current electricity and modern physics. So these are extremely important chapters. You can make a note of these chapters. Also, you are supposed to solve two to three mock tests chapter wise because this will actually help you to build your confidence part test also you can solve also you are supposed to analyze your mistakes immediately on day one so these are some of the important points that you are supposed to execute on day one now let's move on to day two day two we have to focus on chemistry you can revise organic chemistry periodic table coordination compounds chemical kinetics and electrochemistry mark that these are extremely important topics for your Comet K examination, also focus on NCRT and concept summaries. Along with this, practice 40 to 50 MCQs topic wise. When you do all these things on day two, then you will feel confident about chemistry. And now let's talk about the next day, which is day three. Here our focus should be on mathematics. Here we have to focus on these key chapters, which are calculus, coordinate geometry, probability matrices and determinants. Here you can solve past year papers of maths related to Comet K and this should be timed practice. So keep this thing in mind that whatever practice you do, keep it in the time frame, time stipulated manner. Also, you can solve the mock test of Comet K. Further, you have to revise the formulas and tricks because when you are about maths, you have to work on your speed and accuracy and here short tricks will definitely going to help you enhance your speed. So this was very crucial building block foundation of your next 10 days. So first three days should be your focus on revising and building the concepts. Now, if you want to practice the mock test here, our team 10Q challenge has brought the most relevant set of 10 mock tests for your Comet K. These are computer based tests. These consist of highly relevant questions and they are most importantly based on latest pattern. So here you get the most relevant set of 10 papers mock test for your Comet K preparation. Don't waste your time. Start practicing mock test because when it is about the preparation along with building the concepts revision, practicing mock test becomes the very crucial practice, crucial thing in these last 10 days. So try to give as much as mock test as you can. And when you give mock test, definitely it will going to boost your confidence. Here you can visit our website 10qchallenge.in. Link is provided in the description box and all the details are there. Now remember this test series is just Rs. 750. So this is highly, highly affordable. So don't wait. Go and get yourself enrolled. If you have any query, you can contact on this number. Now here is the day 4 to day 6 plan. So next day is about the full length mock test. Now as we have talked about that, you can check out our mock test if you don't find any. So here you should give first three hour Comet K mock test, which is really, really important. Review all the incorrect answers and revise weak chapters. So after giving the test, you will get proper response sheet. How many questions you did correct? How many questions? Where did you go wrong? And based on that, you can do your analysis and you can revise those weak chapters. 
Also, you are supposed to focus on time management strategies. So don't waste your time while solving the questions. Don't get stuck. Move around very, very fast so that you can complete the paper well before time. Now, day five should be allocated to weak area strengthening. Spend time on the topics you performed poorly in your mock test one. Now, revise those concepts, revise those areas. You can use YouTube or short notes for quick concept refresh. So if you have enrolled in our Bitside crash course, so we have provided you with the short notes. So you can utilize those short notes for quick revision for the Comed K also. And if you don't have that access, then you can go and get yourself enrolled in our Bitside crash course as well. If you are appearing in the Bitset, or if you want just short notes for this exam, then you can actually opt for our short notes as well separately. Now, apart from this, you should practice small quizzes. Small quizzes are extremely important as it will help you to actually practice these type of questions. Now, next day should be allocated to appear in another mock test. Now, full syllabus mock test is again needed to be attended. Attempt another mock test under actual kind of examination condition. Compare score with your day 4. So, on day 4, how much score you have got? So, try to compare with it. Have you actually improved or have you actually degraded or downgraded your performance? Work on improving accuracy and reducing silly errors. So, this kind of approach, this kind of systematic organized well-planned approach is quite essential for your success in the actual examination. So day 4 to day 6 is all about mixed practice per plus full syllabus review and writing as many mock tests as possible. Now let's look at what we are supposed to do in the day 7. Here our focus should be on formulas and concept revision. We can use quick flashcards or short notes for revising formulas, equations and reaction mechanisms. So these things are very very important that we are supposed to perform in this on day 7. You have to revise physics, derivations, chemistry reactions and mathematics formulas. Remember that these are really important if you want to score really well in the Comet K examination. Now let's focus on day 8 and day 9. So here full syllabus mock test is important. Once you have given two to three mock tests, you will gain some amount of confidence. Although we suggest that give maximum mock test as possible as you will understand how much you are scoring and where you are supposed to improve. So improve your question selection strategy as it is really important. Don't get stuck in some kind of difficult or complicated questions. Leave or skip those type of questions. Move on to easier one and try to solve them as fast as possible. Do light revision after mock test. Focus on confidence and not cramming. So this point is extremely essential here you have to focus on understanding and gaining confidence now day 9 should be allocated to past year paper either solve to in 2022 paper or 2023 attempt a real past paper under timed conditions this is really important uh, or if you are you cannot find past year papers then definitely you can solve another mock test and if you want full length mock test then definitely do check out our mock test by 10q challenge team set of 10 mock tests and for next 10 days you are sorted completely you will practice and you will get a good score in the actual examination for further details you can check below description box and go and fast and enroll in the test series and start your practice and once you attempt a real pass paper under time condition then review answer key and pattern also focus on maintaining calmness and exam rhythm because these things are very important when you apply it in the actual examination you can get wonderful results now coming to the last day very very important you are you are supposed to do light revision and mental preparation see when it is about the competitive exam it is most important aspect is that our mentally mental focus our mindset is really important we must be strong we must be robust in thinking clearly about what we are supposed to do in the actual examination and when we approach like this approach like a like a gentleman definitely we are tend to do really well in the actual examination don't study new topics focus only on what you already know and formula revision plus key reaction and shortcuts and also notes your your flashcards or your short notes okay so these things are really important just revise them do light revision sleep for seven to eight hours maintain calmness in your body and your calm and composure prepare your examination kit what you want to what you have to supposed to take 
bring to the examination center take to the examination center your id admit card and pens etc so these things are really important meditate or go for a short walk to reduce stress so this thing are, are really important that you are supposed to do on day 10 now let's talk about some of the important extra tips for your comet k examination comet k is a speed game okay remember that so it is not deeply conceptual like je it is not at all hard like je so it is just a speed based game so definitely work on this part and guess intelligently here you can do some kind of guesswork as there is no negative marking 180 questions 180 marks you can score actually good marks in this examination prioritize easy questions first then medium and then tough so go in a proper sequence avoid getting stuck on one question because it is going to eat your important and precious time so don't get all get trapped in such kind of questions and use OMR practice sheets during mock test. So you should practice mock test what it is about to say. So practice as many mock tests as possible. Definitely you will score really really well in this examination. I hope that you have understood the entire 10 day strategy and that can actually help you to crack Comet K examination. Now subscribe our channel. See you in the upcoming videos. Thank you. God bless you and all the best. <laughs>